Cancer, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from December 20th to December 26th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Cancer, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge cancer is the Queen of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so your challenge has a lot to do with the Queen of Pentacles energy here. This could be somebody or something that is coming into your life. Um, Queen of Pentacles tends to be very stable. Okay, so it could be something stable that's coming into your life, maybe an offer here. We're going to clarify this and see what the important message is for you moving forward. Now, in the recent past, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Okay, so I'm really strongly getting here recently in the past that there was a really big opportunity for you, okay? Possibly with um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We're gonna clarify this and get more information in a moment. Now, in the present moment, Cancer, you have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like a lot of you in the present moment are being hit with the truth, okay? There's something in your life right now that's really trying to get your attention. Um, Ace of Swords cuts through the truth, okay? It gets to what we really need to get to in the present moment. And I feel like whatever's being revealed to you in the present moment has a lot to do with something that you're not completely satisfied with. Okay, so um, we're going to clarify this and get more information uh, in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. I'm really strongly getting here that somebody here is going to be transforming. Something here is going to change. Um, could be a fire sign that you're dealing with here in the near future, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I do see a possible new beginning that's happening here for you. So we're going to find out about what this means for you uh, in a moment when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, you have Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Tower, Knight of Swords, Death, and the Devil in reverse, okay? So what you don't see coming is the fact that there is some sort of situation here that really has been breaking down. Um, I don't feel like it was really built on a solid foundation. There's been a lot of um, lack of cooperation is what I'm seeing here. And for many of you in the past, I feel like this situation really brought uh, a lot of anxiety to you. Okay, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. Um, <clears throat> some of you are dealing with an air sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like this person was in and out of your life. And as a result of that, you, you didn't really know where you stood with this person, okay? So what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you are going to be letting go of someone or something that's been very toxic. It doesn't have to be specifically a person. It could be a place. It could be an environment that you're in. So what you don't see coming is, is that a situation that has been causing you some sort of stress and anxiety, um, it looks like a lot of you are going to be possibly thinking about disconnecting from the situation uh, to get yourself back into balance, okay? So that's what I'm seeing in terms of what you don't see coming. Now let's get into your reading, Cancer, and uh, let's see what is going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. So the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Okay, so your challenge has a lot to do with some sort of opportunity that's coming into your life, okay? Um, I do feel like this could be financial, could be love-related as well, too. There's something here, Cancer, about you finding it difficult to move to the next level or move or move on to the next phase of your life, and there's something here about you being closed off. Okay, it's like a very reserved energy. If you look at the Queen of Pentacles in this card, she's very reserved. 
and to herself. So I think your biggest challenge here moving forward for this coming week is to um, try to be open to possible opportunities that may be surrounding you at this time that could really lead to you moving to the next phase of your life, the next cycle of your life. There's something here about you being closed off and by you being closed off, um, for whatever reason, that may be really hindering you from receiving some sort of opportunity here, okay? So your challenge here is maybe to be open to possible opportunities that may be coming into your life, whether that be financial or maybe even love related, okay? So that's what I'm seeing as your challenge. Now let's clarify the recent past. I'm going to clarify the King of Swords. Okay, so the King of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Swords, the Tower, and the Hangman. I feel like in the recent past, uh, you were dealing with somebody here specifically that you couldn't trust, okay? I feel like this person um, may have done something very deceptive. Maybe they lied. Maybe they weren't really honest. I feel like this really had an impact on your connection with this person in the past. And as a result of that, I feel like things didn't really move forward the way that you uh, had expected or anticipated here in the past. There was an idea of believing that, you know, um, we can move forward, things are gonna move forward for us, things are gonna work out for us, there's gonna be a lot of success here. But I feel like in the past, somebody here wasn't honest and that really broke down the trust within the connection in the recent past, okay? So in the present moment now, Cancer, I feel like something here is being shown to you. It's very clear that you're not happy in some sort of situation, okay? It could be a relationship, environment, family situation, job, whatever it is, um, that you are going through in the present moment, a lot of you are trying to find information about this situation. You're trying to make sense of something that's already really clear to you already. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in the present moment for Cancer. Okay. So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Cups. So you see in the present moment, there's something here that you're not satisfied with, okay? Eight of Cups is showing up twice in the present moment in your reading. A lot of you are attached to a family situation or um, some sort of situation in your life that's not really healthy for you. And it's it's being very clear. It's, it's showing you what isn't working anymore in this dynamic. So there's some sort of situation that you're in right now that you may feel um, in the present moment, Cancer, that you wanna disconnect yourself from. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups in the present moment. So the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Five of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Wands. So for many of you, what I'm really strongly getting here in the present moment is a lot of you are experiencing, I feel like this sadness that you're still very much connected to. You're still getting over something here that maybe didn't work out in the past. And you know what a lot of you are really starting to come to terms with is the fact that there is a possibility for you to have a new beginning, but you have to be open to taking that risk. And I think a lot of you right now are wanting to do that, but at the same time, you're still very much connected to something here that you feel um, could possibly work out or could possibly um, be fixed or resolved, okay? But at the same time, you know, there's kind of a decision here that you have to make, Cancer, about possibly disconnecting from the situation. Now, I do feel in the present moment you're trying to find reasons for why you should walk away from this because I think deep down inside you don't want to. And I think also in the present moment you believe that it can get better, okay? But it hasn't gotten better is what I'm, get, you know, is what I'm getting to. So tell me more about the Page of Swords in the present moment. What's the important message here for Cancer in the present moment? Okay, so the Page of Swords is clarified by the Moon, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So you see, I really strongly feel, Cancer, that you are the Page of Swords. You're really trying to figure out, um, you know, why you should disconnect from something. You know, why should, why should you disconnect from the situation? I think, you know, the idea of disconnecting from the situation causes you a lot of pain, and I don't think you really express that. So I think there's a big decision here in the present moment that a lot of you may have to make in regards to whether or not you still want to be connected to something here that isn't really bringing you happiness. 
and whether or not you want to decide to move forward and have a new beginning. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing in the present moment. Now in the near future, it looks like for many of you, you choose to possibly have a brand new beginning. You choose to take a leap of faith here. Now, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here in the near future. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the Star, and the Sun. I do feel in the near future, a lot of you are going to be uh, connecting with somebody here in the near future. And it's going to happen very quickly. Uh, so if you've been wanting to meet somebody, date somebody, um, I do see somebody coming in here. And I do see it leading to a lot of happiness here. Okay, you have the Star and the Sun together, which is a really good combination here. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Who is this person that's coming into Cancer's life, possibly in the near future? King of Wands is clarified by the Judgment, the Ace of Swords, and the Hermit. So I feel like in the near future, somebody here <clears throat> is going to be sharing with you how they truly feel. Okay, they're going to get really down to the truth about, you know, what's been on their mind, what they've come to terms with here. I feel like some of you are going to have a reconciliation in the near future or you're going to meet somebody here who, um, I, I don't know why I'm getting this energy of you being friends with somebody and, you know, not really solidifying things with them. But then, you know, you and this person eventually kind of express how you both feel about one another. Okay, so there's something here about you possibly having a new beginning with someone here. Um, and then them finally confessing or revealing how they truly feel. Tell me more about this new beginning that's coming in for cancer in the near future. So the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Death, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. I do feel like there's a decision here that's going to be made or needs to be made. And I was picking that up in the um, when I was talking about the present moment. And look, the Two of Pentacles came up in the near future. So I feel like there's a decision that you're going to have to make because once this person confesses to you, Cancer, about how they truly feel and what they want with you moving forward, which I feel like this has a lot to do with the future, a lot of you are going to have to figure out if it's actually time to actually disconnect from something here that you know is over, you know it hasn't really been satisfying you. And at that point, you may need to decide what you want to do moving forward, okay? So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? Okay, so the advice for you moving forward is the Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Hanged Man. So the best piece of advice from the tarot moving forward for you is to really get clear on what it is that you want, okay? Um, because I do feel like there's an opportunity. This is why your challenge here is the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. There's a big opportunity that's coming into your life. But I think a lot of you may at times get very caught up and confused and not really focused on what it is that you truly believe that's going to bring you happiness. Whatever is going to bring you happiness is what you should be focusing on. You should look at the situation you're in from a different perspective before completely making a decision and moving forward. Really contemplate within yourself what's going to make you happy. And once you finally know what's going to make you happy, focus on that so that you don't miss any opportunities that may be coming into your life. Okay. So Cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.